Good morning, and welcome to our meditation service. My name is Edward Ryan. I'm a practitioner here at the center, and I will be facilitating this morning's service. So as we begin, please take a moment to silence your cell phones. We do let folks enter the after the meditation has begun. If you think you may be distracted by their entrance, feel free to move closer to the front row, and we'll ask anyone that comes in late to sit near the back. So in looking at the theme for this week, uh, the theme is choosing where to give. The idea came to me that in order to be in a position to give and to be of service in the most effective ways, to be able to give of our time, talent, and treasure, we must first be in touch with our authentic selves, the person we are at the core of our being, the person that we are truly called to be, but may not be able to fully express because we let the trials and tribulations of daily life get in the way. We hold on to emotional baggage from the past. We don't allow ourselves to forgive. We compare ourselves to others. So with this meditation, I wanna look at letting go of all that stuff that we carry with us and allowing our true authentic selves to come forward. And once we can live from that place of authenticity, we are naturally guided to those places where we can best serve. For it is if we live our lives as our true selves, if we move through life authentically, we're always in the flow and life unfolds under grace. So let's begin by getting comfortable. Go ahead and take in a deep breath and let it out. And close your eyes if you're comfortable in doing so. And just start to relax your body. Beginning with your feet, allowing a feeling of relaxation to fill your feet and then just gradually move up to your ankles, allowing that relaxing feeling to move through your lower legs. And through your knees and to your upper legs. Just relax and feel that warm, soothing energy moving through you. Now you're feeling the relaxation moving through your hips and pelvis and the surrounding muscles. Feel your stomach and your lower back relaxing. And allow that relaxing feeling to move through your chest, your back, and your sides. Now let your hands relax. From your fingertips to your wrists. And allow that relaxing feeling to move up your arms through your elbows, to your upper arms and shoulders. And just take in another deep breath and let it out, feeling your shoulders, release any tension. Allowing those shoulders to drop. Allow the muscles of your neck to relax. And just let go. As that feeling moves through your, your head and face, you're in that complete state of relaxation. So now let's turn our attention inward to find that authentic self. First, let's look at the values that you have. 
What do you value most in life? What core values do you embody in your life? How do you make choices based on these values? Take a moment to contemplate your values and the part they play in your daily life. Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith says that 100% of spiritual growth is letting go. And when we let go of all the baggage, the stories we tell ourselves, that monkey mind, a lack of forgiveness, when we let all that go, the true authentic self is revealed. The person that you are at the core of your being Now let's take a look at finding your, your authentic self, the person that you truly are. So take a moment to visualize the person you believe yourself to be right now. See yourself doing the things you normally do every day. Simply be the observer of your life and watch yourself moving through the normal routine of your day. Continue to observe yourself, but now picture this person that is you, standing alone, with no one else and nothing else around. And allow all those things that hold you back to simply fall away. Fears, doubts, insecurities, feelings of lack and limitation, let go of these things and imagine them falling away and returning to the nothingness. And as these things fall away, as you let go of the layers of junk that has built up over the years, what emerges from behind the layers is the truth of your being, your authentic self. Now with all the layers that we were covering your true authentic self having fallen away, who are you at your deepest level? When you no longer allow the emotional baggage, the doubts, the fears, the insecurities to get in your way, 
go within and ask yourself, who am I? Allow yourself to sit with that question. Who am I? Stay within and ask the question again. Spirit, who am I? In looking at your authentic self, think about the unique traits that make you, you. When all the blocks have been removed and you've let go of fear and doubt, lack and limitation, what unique traits do you have when you are truly your authentic self? Are you introverted or extroverted? quiet or talkative? Are you creative? What do you admire and like? What is something that makes you happy? What do you enjoy? What are you passionate about? What motivates you? What calls you to action? Think about these characteristics of yourself when all the barriers and fears are removed.
Now in your mind's eye, picture the person you truly want to be. The person spirit is calling you to be. Think of all the details, the character traits, the motivations of this person that you are being called to be. The picture you are holding in your mind of who you truly are is your authentic self. At the core of your being, when all the baggage and fear is released, this is who you are. So take a moment to be your authentic self. Be still and know who you truly are. Be still and know.
And so you've always been this person. You will always be your authentic self, a positive, confident person. Underneath the challenges of daily life, this is the real you that will always be with you. And as we live from that authenticity, we move through the life with awareness, with the knowing, being able to see those possibilities, those opportunities as they arise, those opportunities to be of service to others, to yourself, to God. And we live authentically. Life unfolds with grace and ease. So we take a look at those opportunities and just go within for a few moments and ask Spirit, what is mine to do? Where can I best serve? And so I take each and every moment of every day to live that authentic life, 
to be still and know the truth of who I am, that I am a divine emanation of spirit, and that spirit walks with me in every moment of every day, that I'm always guided and protected, and so I can live authentically. I can live from that place of trust and faith. And in doing so, I know that my life unfolds in the most beautiful and fantastic ways. So I claim for myself and for all present here that we are truly, each individually, the place where God shows up, a divine emanation of oneness, and that as we allow ourselves to be that place where God shows up, the opportunities and possibilities are infinite. We just simply need to be aware, to be present, and to approach life with a service heart of knowing that we are always open and available to serve others, to serve ourselves, to serve God. For in doing so, we are truly living a life of grace. And I simply give thanks for knowing that we are all one, we are all connected. We are all spirit, having a spiritual experience in this human realm. For this truth, I am so grateful. And I just let it be so. And so it is. So as you're all comfortable, you can bring your attention back to the room. And this ends our meditation service. Uh, the celebration service begins today at 10 a.m., so feel free to stretch your legs and come on back. And if you appreciate the benefits of this service, please consider making a donation. Volunteers are standing in the back to receive any donation that you'd like to make. Thank you for attending the meditation service, and have a great day.